Hi! <laughs> Alright guys, the Hype House with the Tom Ward Show. What's good? Guys, before we start the interview, I want to ask you to subscribe and turn on notifications. I interview the biggest influencers in the game. I've done Emma Chamberlain, David Dobrik, Logan Paul. You can see all those videos down there. I'm doing the rest of the Hype House, so check out those videos. And I've got Lauren Gray coming up next. So subscribe and enjoy the videos. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Chase and Thomas, founders, co-CEOs of the Hype House. <laughs> what, do you call you? what do you call yourselves? Yeah. Co-founders, I guess. Co-founders? Yeah, there was a lot of us from the beginning, but Chase and I like came together and really like pushed this thing into existence. Okay. Yeah. So So and going back, like how how big were you at the time on TikTok before you said, hey, I'm gonna write a check and get a house? I didn't have a TikTok. I had like oh. maybe a hundred K when we moved in here. Like not vegan. Yeah, no. I came from a more YouTube background. Oh okay. And I was more interested in the business side. And Chase, when you moved in here. Yeah, I was like 3.5 oh, million. Damn. Okay. Yeah, I started. Okay. And today I'm at uh, 11. 11. I'm at That's 11. That's insane. Who's, yeah. who's the biggest in the house? Charlie. Charlie. Charlie is 22, 21. 21. 21 million. Did she talk trash, like call you guys losers and stuff? No. Uh, none none no. of us really like compete I'd with each other. That, and then Charlie's like the most like innocent about that. Oh, is she really? Yeah, because she's only been in it for like three months. How does she have that many followers in three months? I, That's a good no, question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess if you knew that, you'd have 20 million yeah. followers too. Yeah, she's, she just has, like she had something different. She kind of changed the app. Okay. It was not a dancing app before, Charlie. Are you serious? Yeah, no. I mean, a little yeah, bit. A little just, bit. But not like it is it's now. It's like complete no. dancing. Yeah, now it's. Every TikTok I see is dancing. Yeah. Yeah, she's like shifted it completely. No kidding? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you guys are doing more dancing now. Yeah, of course. A little bit. Okay. Now I see you. Is that annoying? I was watching, um, how, you guys just got back from Hawaii, and I saw a video, the Hollywood Fix, wherever those guys are. Yeah. Like, bombarded you at the airport, and yeah. had a million questions, and fans came up and asked for TikToks, mm -hmm. which is cool. But is it kind of annoying, the paparazzi, or you just, is it just so new, or does this feel weird? Yeah, it does feel a little weird. I mean, I don't really care. It's just, uh, I don't know. It doesn't bug me that much. It's just new. But is it weird, like, a grown-ass man is asking you who you're dating? Like, doesn't that, isn't yeah. that strange? The part that I don't like about it is like, I used to work, work with Jake a lot and they would be at the house waiting and like leaning over the gate and stuff and then be like, hey, I'm trying to like back my car out. Can you move? He's like, I'm just doing my job. It's like, your job sucks. Yeah. Like, I would never do your job. Like you chase 12 year olds around all day to ask them questions about their dating life. Like, it's weird. It's very weird. It's a very weird, weird, it's a very job weird to business. Have. I know. And I interviewed Jake at the old Team uh -huh. 10 house yep. and it was the most bizarre thing. I came, it was like a Sunday night, and I came up, and there was, I don't know, 50 kids yeah, on like the yeah. front lawn, and I, I didn't know who, maybe they're new Team 10 members, I don't know no, who everybody no, no, is. Yeah. And I'm like, do you guys live here, or what? They go, no, 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 just go ring the doorbell. And I was like, that's so strange that even Sunday night, you've got 50 people just creeping yeah. outside your house. That's why, when we were looking at this house, because I was around during that time. Oh, you were? So that's why, like, gate, gate driveway, yep. can't see the house from the street, like, yep. that was super important for us. Like we, we did not want anyone to be able to come and wait here and have 50 people in front of our house. Super smart. Yeah. Like it's Dobrik has that, people just walk yeah, into his walk, house. Yeah, he said it like at least three times a day, somebody will just walk in his house. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. So that's why we have the gate and the driveway, it helps a lot. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we've never had anybody come up to our door. Don't, don't dare. No, 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 we don't, yeah. No, <laughs> we don't, no. they don't want that. No, not at all. Yeah. So how was the meet and greet last night at the Grove? It was fine. I mean, we got kicked out of the mall in like 10 minutes. So we just went to a park across the street and just yeah. take some pictures so we can like get around and get to meet everyone. So we can just like show for 10 minutes and then just go. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you get kicked out? Because uh, a lot of people. Oh yeah, as soon as yeah. you guys go there, it's just a mob? Yeah, yeah we, and we did it only a couple hours in advance, just being like, hey, we're gonna be at the Grove, but like come by and say hi. Mm -hmm. So there wouldn't be too many people. And then we just wanted to meet fans, get to interact with them, make some TikToks. Okay. Take some pictures with people. Mm -hmm. So your fans, do they ask for TikToks or selfies? Both. Mostly. Both. Both? Both? Yeah. That's a lot to ask from somebody. That's, like selfies yeah. cool, but yeah. TikTok, like you have to work. 
Does yeah. that is that get old or do you do this? What do you it, do? The same dance every time? Yeah, it's hard. Much. I don't know. You what do. You, do you have like a standard yeah, dance, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> what's your what's your go to dance? They they always come up and ask us to do the renegade with them. The what? The red. It's called the renegades. What's the I'm old. I don't know. What's the it, what's the renegade? It's just like one of most. It's a song called Lottery. Oh, okay. And that part of it, people call it the renegade dance. Oh, I got you. Okay. So that's your go-to? Yeah. Oh, right. I don't know how to dance, so it makes it really <laughs> awkward for me when people ask me to make TikToks. I literally made like seven transition TikToks yesterday. You that's did? all, yeah, that's all I know how to do. What's the transition TikTok? It's just like where you like turn the camera and zoom in and then you'll do it again and it's something else. Like, mm -hmm. It just looks coolish, but that's like what I know how to do. So it's just awkward because I don't know how to dance. <laughs> so I'm like taking people's phones and like <laughs> moving them around. It was funny. I saw, uh, I think the same video where the paparazzi were getting you guys. Tana Mojo was getting in too, and then some some kid asked her like, "Hey, can you do a TikTok?" And like she had no she idea what to do. Yeah, yeah, she just kind of like stuck her booty out and kind of you know looked at the camera and stuff. She's like, yeah. "I don't know what the fuck to do for yeah. 15 seconds." Yeah, no, it's it's awkward, but I mean, you just you do it, you make them happy, whatever, yeah. whatever you can. It's funny now because like I've got I've got cousins like who were in their late 20s, you know, millennials, right? And I told them, I was interviewing you guys, they had no idea oh, no. who you guys were, they had no idea what the hype house was, and it was funny, I go, you guys were cool and you used to know what's going on, and now, you, <laughs> now you don't. Like, it's kind of cool that your generation, kind of the younger ones who are getting older, get to flex your muscles a little bit and say like, hey, we're here, we've got a different voice than the old YouTubers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like it's always shifting. There's always new YouTubers, there's always new TikTok, or like TikTok's a new thing. Uh, but I feel like this is the first time where people who were from Vine are now getting confused about what's new. Because it used to be like, if you grew up with Vine, mm -hmm. like I, even I grew up with Vine, we all did pretty much, but it was towards the end of it. Like mm -hmm. the people who were already 18, 19 when Vine came out mm -hmm. are now like, what is TikTok? I know nothing about it. Like, yep. cause they're getting into 27, 28, 29. Like they're not as into this stuff. Yeah. And so I think that, that now is the first time that's happening, which is cool. And, different. But everybody wants to be there now. So yeah. all those 27, 28 year old YouTubers go, this, cause I heard, I don't know if it's 500 or I think it was 5,000% growth for TikTok 2018 to 2019. Oh, yeah. So it's so big now that, you know, all these YouTubers go, well, I guess that's where I gotta yeah. be. So yeah. I guess I gotta do a dance video. I gotta do the renegade. Uh -huh. I gotta learn yeah. the renegade to like connect. Yeah. yeah, it's it's very different. Like the, it, TikTok picks its stars and like picked its newest people. And what do you mean? Like, I feel like the people who watch TikTok the most have already picked who are going to be the most popular creators. So it's like whether Will Smith joins the app because his management tells him to yeah. and his videos get 30 million views, no one goes to watch Will Smith's TikToks. No. They're just being pushed out to everybody on the platform uh, because he's a celebrity. Gotcha. Same with these YouTubers. Like, if Tana makes TikToks, they'll do really well. Emma Chamberlain's TikToks do very well, but nothing compared to like Chase's or Charlie's or the, the, some of the people because it's just a different different audience yeah it's it's not the same it's a younger audience yeah. than they're used to and it's different content they're not looking for youtube content they're looking for this exact tiktok content yeah but if you haven't been doing it for a while you don't really understand it yet yeah that's interesting yeah um that, one question i have too just tiktok in general how do you like i look at it and i just scroll through i think most people do right you just go to the home page and instead of following a bunch of people uh -huh. you know yeah. you just kind of scroll through them how do you get on that feed like how does your video, how does the video end up there? Because everyone watching this, every young TikToker, every one of your fans wants to be on that page. Yeah. Probably wants to know like, how does that even happen? Um, honestly, like through trends and uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain the For You page. For You page? It's confusing. Well, the For You page is just an algorithm. So okay. it's just like, uh, the Instagram Explorer page. It's the same exact thing. Okay. TikTok is just a little bit off. Like it's a little bit broken. Okay. So it, I don't know how it is now, but before it would scan your face and push it out. And these are just things you notice from the app. Like when TikTok hasn't told us this or anything, but you'll notice that if, if I do a video by myself yeah. and then I, I, like this is how it used to be. It doesn't really work like this anymore. But if I used, if I would put Chase for the thumbnail for, at the last one second of the video, mm -hmm. it will blow up no matter what. That's how it used to be. Okay. So, and then it started happening with this house. If you put it like right here and you film this way, okay. your video is gonna do better. If you put it, like your camera in the bathroom, you film the TikTok, yeah. it's gonna do a lot better. 
How about Charlie? Does, is that yeah, the best? Thing, yeah. So like, why don't you guys all end your video with a, just a picture of Charlie? Because it gets oversaturated. Oh, like, does yeah, it? like it, people will, that's just like how the algorithm works. Okay. So you, but you still have to put a good video around it. Yeah. Because it's retention time. Like if they watch the whole 15 second TikTok and then they watch it again and then they comment and then they like and then they share it with someone, all of those things like add a point which okay. share the video more. Oh, okay. So it's like if you watch the whole thing, clearly you're watching for a reason. Yeah. If you like it, you liked it. And then if you comment about it, Clearly you liked it so much you commented about it. And then same thing with if you then share it, it's like, that's the most. That means you liked it so much. Oh, okay. So that pushes the video out. Jeez, before we started, you were talking about like, when you post a TikTok or like, what gets a good TikTok going? And you said, it's all about the energy, kind of like the vibe. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand what you meant. Like, um, what do you mean? It, well, when, when most of us, if we're doing like group collaborative stuff, if one of us starts being like, hey, let's make a video. And then you guys, I'll make a video together, then the people around you are gonna like feel like the tension and the energy. There's like, okay, well, I should probably post right now too. That's just like kind of what I mean. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because one of the rules I read, um, you know, there's no partying, and yeah. you have to create content every day to be here. Mm -hmm. So like. So you guys seem pretty focused. I mean, I'm looking around, I don't see empty beer bottles, I don't see bongs anywhere. No, I mean, maybe those no. are hidden, I don't know. No, <laughs> but not, we, we made that agreement before we moved in here. We are like, this is going to be it's work. a business household. Like, yeah. if you want to have fun, and it's a Saturday night, and you're 21 or whatever, you yeah. go out, go have fun. Sure. Like, but if you're going to represent this team, and mm -hmm. you're going to represent the Hype House, and you want to be a part of this, like, get to work. This. I, we, you can work till you're 35 and then be fine if you keep it up here. But if you want to go out and have fun, then you don't need to be a part of this. Wow. And is, it, it, when you were forming the team of the Hype House, was like, did you look for people like that? Like, I don't want to deal with so-and-so. Yeah, it's too much yeah. drama. It's more yeah. like uh, your friends. And then they had to come to an agreement mm -hmm. with uh, everything to be part of the team. Okay. Yeah. Like we recently added a member, Larray. He's super cool. Like really talented kid. And we've all known him for two months now. Or like he, Alex brought him over in the very beginning and we were just all got to know him and we were all thinking about it. But it took a month and a half of meeting him and getting to know him to be like, okay, everyone here loves him. He's talented. He's like, does everything that we like we expect. He works hard. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we all vibe with him really well. Okay. So then we were like, okay, yeah, Luray can join. Nice. Right. Talk about the business too, because so you guys are like the co-founders of this thing, right? You wrote the check, I think, for the house originally, right? Yeah. So... I guess what's in it for you guys? Cause you don't, it's not a team 10 situation where Jake's gonna take whatever percentage, percentage he gets back. off of everybody. You guys don't do that. No. So why rate the check? Why not just get your own place and not have to deal with all this stuff? Um, I mean, right now, for right now, we're gonna just like build the team and like get as much money as possible. We're gonna keep this house and maybe get maybe get a new one. Okay. But um, for now, we. we I can put up a thing here. I like it here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, a big thing too about this platform is like collaborative environment is so <laughs> important. Like Chase came in here with like 3.5 million a month and a half ago. So it's like if he would have went and got an apartment by himself, he'd probably be at five, six million, but not 12. Gotcha. Like it, it, it's not the same thing. And also when you have a house, everyone wants to come over because you have a house. No one has a house. Like. There's a reason that all YouTubers go to Jake's house and the, and David Dobrik's house and because they have one. Because yeah, yeah, they sure. have a cool place to go to. And there's no cool one, people there. Yeah, no one's like, I'm gonna go up to this two bedroom apartment. Let's go kick it. Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, like, my apartment's great, but it's not a, like you don't see videos at Emma Chamberlain's apartment or whatever she has. No, no there's no there's no 20 people there. You no. can't put 20 people there. No. But what you can do here is you can invite over every TikToker on the platform, which is what we did for the first month before we even called it the Hype House. Well, it's pretty impressive because you just announced the Hype House like around Christmas ago. on yeah. Instagram, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And now I saw like the Instagram Hype House account has like over a million we're followers, about, yeah, right? I think we're about to hit 1.4 today. And do you have a Hype House TikTok, TikTok too? Yeah, 7 million a month. That's unbelievable numbers. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> it really is if you think about it's it. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. How about a follow, like a TikTok to an Instagram follower, one for one, who's more valuable or who's harder to get? Instagram's uh, harder to get. Instagram's definitely harder to get followers on. And I think that um, the reason that is, is because of US based people. What do you mean? I think that TikTok has a lot of people from all over the world. Uh, okay. Instagram is a lot, like very heavily um, US based, especially our followers and stuff like that. Okay. So it's translating over those US followers out of 
the whole like obviously we're gonna have a lot of people from Europe and the LA, but when it comes to TikTok, there's like people from all over the world following oh, okay. you. So I feel like it builds up faster because mm-hmm. your video might blow up in they like used to be. India used to have insane engagement on TikTok. I don't think they have TikTok anymore, but when they did, like things would get 45, 50 million views that were Indian based TikToks. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What's up with Byte? Do we need to, do we care about Byte? Is Byte a threat? What is Byte? He's, <laughs> exactly. Well, Vine 2.0. The Vine, one the Vine guys, oh. one of the Vine guys brought it back. No, nah, it's not. And I saw people like tweeting about it last week. They don't have. They're kind of delete to the game, right? Yeah, no. TikTok put in probably. Three hundred million dollars to blow this app back up. Like, wow. I, they they had to put a ton of money into this. They were throwing events. They were paying people wow. a lot of money to get on TikTok. Okay. Because they wanted to make it not musically, and they did that really well. Like finally, but they put a lot of money into that. Yeah. I don't think the bite has that money. No. So I don't think it's gonna make it. And they're, I think they're kind of late to the game. I mean, yeah. who knows social media better than you guys? And you didn't know what bite was. You yeah. know, that's not a good sign. Yeah. For a new app. Like, yeah. But. I have a question about money too. How the fuck do you make money on TikTok? Like I'm so, I look at the videos, I go, okay, it's a cool dance video. I see no ad in it. Yeah. I see no product placement in it. I see no tag of like, ba- hashtag bang energy, whatever. I don't see any of that. So how does it work? Sometimes you get like deals like that, but uh, it's not like an everyday thing I'm gonna post. No. Do hashtag blah, blah, blah. Okay. Like occasionally you'll, you'll get a deal and they'll pay you a certain amount okay. for that. but. A lot, we get a lot of brand deals. Yeah, there are brand deals on the platform, a lot. And it's also very new yeah. because, for example, like you, not everyone can even put a link in your bio yet. That's okay. not a thing. There. Sure. So it's, it's a very new platform and mm-hmm. it's very new. Like people know what their ROI is on Instagram, on YouTube. It's yeah. a very studied field. Like people have been doing this for years now, so they get it. TikToks, this, think about this, this is their first year of doing that. Yeah. So brands are getting very used to it. And, and now with the new year, once January came around, like there's a lot of new budgets. There's a lot of people allocating their money to TikTok now, but it's not like finalized yet. So Instagram deals will come in more. YouTube deals will come in more. Then there's like campaigns, there's things where they'll fly you out to go, uh, like he just went to Dolce & Gabbana recently. Like there's- Oh wow, that's so, cool. Mm-hmm. Did you walk in a show or something? No, or? they just sent me there so I could be at their show and they like paid me to go and they gave me some uh, clothes from there. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> Free fancy man. Oh, no way, nice. Yeah. So there's, there's opportunities like that. There's like, uh, I know that people want us in their music videos and stuff. That's a new thing that's coming to give like more of an organic integration okay. into, into pushing out music because TikTok's music based. Mm-hmm. So there's lots of lots of opportunity with money and music right now. Oh, so like if I'm an artist and I just came out with a song, obviously I, I'd love yeah. to have you guys yeah. feature it. Exactly. So people pay for that. Yeah, but you still have to kind of like the song. You can't put some shitty song. No, in, right? no, yeah, no. It, but these labels put a lot of money into like radio mm-hmm. and that money is so much better spent with this generation. Like if you- Who listens to radio? No one listens to radio anymore and radio doesn't push music anymore. Like it's whether the people at the labels want to realize that and want to switch up a very traditional model that's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we have a reach of, uh, well, I think 150 million in this house. Everybody in the house? Yeah, it's kind of a collective (laughs) with 20 people. So it's like, you can have instant access to 150 million people or you can stick with putting billboards up to not sell anything. Yeah, and like hopefully the you. person who drives yeah, by yeah, is exactly. like a target customer. Hopefully they're like, I'm gonna go to Best Buy. Like, no, I'm not. Yeah. No one's gonna go buy a CD. Nobody's gonna like. No. This is, this is how the generation goes. It's about changing that and making people see that change, which is what we're doing. That's why we're all focusing on building up our followings, mm-hmm. building up that reach because Two months ago, our whole house, if we had the same people, would have reached 15 million. And now we're at 150 million. So in, it's like, in a month? Yeah. You went from 15 million collectively yeah, we, to 150 I think, million? Yeah, I think it was like closer to 30, but yeah. 30 mil to 150 mil wow. of reach. You guys are pretty smart. It's good to have a house. Oh, it's great. It's yeah. good for everybody yeah, to yeah, have the house. It's great to have a house if it's done right. Yeah, and it seems like everybody benefits. Yeah. Just because somebody has 10 million followers and this other person has five. Yeah, it's all about it, the t- as a team. You guys still want to help each other. Oh, of course. Even yeah. though the one has more followers. Like, yeah, Instagram's I'll, not always like that. It's kind of caddy it, sometimes. It's hard, yeah. Like, keep in mind, I, I do, I like the business side more and I like the, that's what I care about more in this industry. Mm-hmm. But even I came in with, I had 200K a month ago. I have like 1.7 mil or 1.6 mil. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Yeah. And, and that's on top of just meetings and work and stuff like that. I'll just post three a day. Okay. Just like be like, hey, let's film this, let's film this, and then still grown a million. Wow. How many TikToks do you guys post a day? Like around three. Okay. Three to five, I feel like. 
Yes. How much? How much goes into them? Because you know, I'm just a normal dude, Depends. and I see you know, if you, if like you, this you, stuff, and I'm like, it doesn't seem like it. This little dance sometimes, was that hard, but maybe it is. I don't know. Sometimes it takes a minute. Sometimes it takes ten, and sometimes it takes thirty. Like it really depends on how much effort you're willing to put put into the post. But if you really want your content to uh, do really well, put a little bit more effort and thought into it. Yeah. Okay. And then there's like for the dancing, Charlie will do some that take 10 minutes, some that take 15 seconds, some that take 20 minutes. Then the Lopez brothers, they're really good dancers. Mm -hmm. They'll spend 15 minutes, like they'll choreograph one for it, and like they'll actually spend time on it. And they're like very, very dancer trained, so that. There's different levels, I feel like. There's some people that'll spend 30 minutes on a TikTok, or Ivana, you'll, when you'll talk to her, but she'll do a makeup look that takes an hour and a half for a TikTok. Okay. So it's like, everyone's everyone's different. Well, which, which your most popular TikTok? What's the biggest one? Um, on the Hype House account? Uh, no, per, your personal account. Because your personal gets uh, more views. My personal views one than... was uh, something that me and uh, Charlie choreographed. It was... Oh, but feeling like I did too much. Yeah, I think yeah. it was... Uh, um, yeah, it was just a little dancing video that me okay. and I kind of made up. And then a lot of people started to do it. Yeah, it, was and to try. it was like the beginning of people shipping me and her. Okay. And like, oh my gosh, she is so cute and, yeah. and stuff like that. How many views did it get? I think like 30 million. <laughs> now, when you're at your level, is 30 million just a number? No, it's insane like, to me. You <laughs> can't really wrap your head around 30 million people. Like 40,000 no. you can. You can go, okay, it's a football stadium. Okay, yeah. I got that. But what, 30 million, like, what is that? No, it's, it's like a bunch of states put together. No, I know. It's even like- <laughs> If you think about it. Yeah, no, it's a lot of people. We have videos on the Hype House with like 40 million, 30 million, yeah. Wow. There's not that many videos on our house account, so it's like, it's not like, it doesn't take a lot of effort to stalk us, really. So you just watch like, like 50-ish, maybe videos. 100 videos on the account. Mm -hmm. So like people would just watch all of them because it's not that many. Okay. And so they'll like look at from the, the top to the bottom because it's all like recent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So what are your what are your goals? Like, are you, because it sounds like you're hedg hedging your bets. I was talking to Erica before, shout out to Erica. <laughs> uh, yeah. You were talking about kind of diversifying and, and not just putting all your eggs in TikTok, which yeah, is smart. Yeah. Where else are you trying to live on YouTube? I saw you had like a Hype House YouTube, but there was nothing on it. Yeah. Um, are you gonna to try to do individual YouTube channels and go that way or yeah, we're gonna are you not interested? No, we're gonna do YouTube. we wanna push people on YouTube because even though TikTok's great and it's, we don't know where it's going. We don't sure. know if the app's gonna disappear in a year. We don't know if it's gonna be the next biggest Instagram and like put Instagram out, we don't know. I mean, people as of right now spend the most time out of their day on TikTok, mm -hmm. but that could totally change in six months. Like could, anything could happen. How much time do people spend on TikTok? Probably like four Thank hours you. a day. Are you at four hours? Yeah. Oh my God. You don't recognize it. You just, see your, you just see yourself scrolling and then you yeah. look at the clock and you're like, I have to do homework. Oh wait, it's bedtime. So, yeah, th this- Four hours, yeah. that is insane. This app has sold itself on quick content. Yeah. That people think it, it's it's just like a, it's like a marketing tactic. It's like these kids are like, I'm not gonna watch an hour long YouTube video or I'm not gonna watch a TV show because it takes too long. Yeah. I'm not gonna watch a YouTube video because it's too long. But then they're like, I'm gonna watch a 15 second clip over and over again until it takes the same amount of time it would take to watch a YouTube video. Yeah. So it's it's just, it's funny. People's attention span is just keeps shrinking. So and then how do you go from that to doing, well, well it's, a, it's the same thing, you guys are smart, because the Vine guys, the older generation, like previous, yeah, they're, they're a lot of them didn't have a plan B. No. A lot of them didn't know that Vine was gonna end and they had no footprint on YouTube and they go, shit, our followers are gone. What do I gotta start from scratch again? But then some, kind of saw things happening and started in YouTube and like David Dobrik and made yeah, that transition. Yeah. That's the point of uh, where you, you transition. I've been trying to transition talk followers from TikTok over to Instagram mm -hmm. and from Instagram and Snapchat, they'll like listen to you there. Like that'll be like your core following. Okay. And then if you have YouTube, you can, you can go to there. But if TikTok were just to be taken away, mm -hmm. I'd have my Instagram and my Snapchat. And from there I can be like, hey, swipe up this new YouTube video I just posted yep. and then I could, grow on a different platform. Yeah. What kind of content do you do on Instagram? Is uh, it different than TikTok because you have a little yeah, longer? Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's more pictures and I, take, I do a lot of film photography and I'll show off my my outfits. Okay. People like, like the stuff that I wear. Okay. Um, and 
I don't know. So what's up with the what's up with merch, man? You guys don't have any merch. You're working on something. Working on something we can't talk fun. about dates or anything, but are you in the fashion space? Yeah, I'm. I'm. It's two weeks until the release, but okay. Um, it's something that's definitely being worked on and coming soon. Nice. What other interests do you guys have? Like fashion, obviously you're interested in business. Do you have like a I'm, like a side thing you want to? Yeah, work personally, into? I really want to work on the music end. Like, okay. I, I, out in this house and like developing this house up, that's my main priority. And then secondly, I want to either build up a label or work in, in music with scouting artists because we have this like funnel of in amazing engagement and we can, if we were to smart. sign an artist and blow them up and then they could get a hundred million dollar record deal, we get a piece of that. So it's like, that that's something I'm super interested in. Wow, is there still money in music? You know, yes. Is there really? Yeah, tons. it's tons. there's tons really? of money in music. People, um, Cause you figure like I, you hear Spotify, they only they pay like point zero 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 one of a. They of a they might, penny. but they, a record label will still pay someone twenty million dollars to yeah. sign them. Wow. Yeah. They all have uh, investors that'll um, when they drop new music, they'll have their investors like invest in. Pay people to just uh, like do TikToks to their stuff. Yeah. Okay. And so they'll, they'll pay people to promote their music. Because you guys can blow something up. Yeah. Overnight. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Is it weird now? Because everybody wants something from you now. Yeah. When you were starting out before, where are you guys from? I'm from San Diego, North, Northern California. Okay. So when you're doing it in your room, you had you know a couple hundred thousand, you had a couple million. You could walk down the street. You could go to the Grove maybe and not get mobbed. Now, every time you go out, there's gonna be 12 or 13 year old girls who want TikToks, right? But forget that. Brands want something for you. Mm -hmm. uh, other TikToks want you know want you to tag them in a picture on Instagram and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. is, is Cloud chasing a thing with you guys? They don't. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. We, I don't really talk about it too much. We'll talk because, about it. Just because I don't know. Oh, well, how does it work on? I get cloud chasing, right? You know, I want to be in a Jake Paul video, so I get a, you know a bunch of followers, right? How does it work on TikTok? Do they want to be in your yes? And they want to be yeah, in your right. Instagram but pictures? I get ever? like ten Snapchats it's, a day from old people that are, I used to be friends with. Like, hey, send a selfie back. This is for TikTok. I'm just like, well, yeah. That's why? Here, here's the thing. It's TikTok is the thing that makes TikTok so great, and the algorithm that we love and appreciate. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a double-edged sword. Like, it's great. Mm -hmm. And then there's the part where anything blows up on TikTok. What do you mean? Anything. If so you it's talk like talk about a big creator, so it, like you talk shit on them, it'll probably blow up. Yeah, or oh. anyone in this house yeah. that comes in here and films will mm -hmm. blow up. Yeah. With zero followers. If you go hop on a TikTok, you yeah. film one with with Chase, Addison, and Avani yeah. right now in this house with zero followers, you will gain, you'll probably get a million views on that video. Yeah. Because that's the I'm gonna film a TikTok after this. I'm gonna blow it up. <laughs> see, see, no, that, that's, that's what will happen. Taylor Lorenz, when she came here, yeah, she yeah. put those TikToks up. They have millions and millions of views. No kidding. Just from this house, they had no following. They had nothing. Wow. But that's just how the app works. Did it was on the Forbes app or, or account or hers? I, I think it was on hers. Wow. Yeah, and they all went super, they're all over my For You page. The and next, what did you guys yeah. do? What kind of? They're, they were just filming us standing. We didn't do anything for the TikToks. This was behind the scenes footage that they yeah, put out. This is like a photo shoot that they had for like, the pictures. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Article. So they, they just they just, just took those videos. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Wow. So explain to me tags too on Instagram or on on um, TikTok. So do they do anything? Is it worth tagging? Hashtags. Hashtags. No, yeah. No, no, they, it, do it, they don't really do much. I mean, especially if people. Does it look about, thirsty like, if people are doing a bunch of hashtags? No, it's, it's just. I don't people, think they people work. Don't, people don't know. Like, I asked TikTok when I had a meeting with them. They said, no, it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> if you tag hashtag for you page, there's three billion videos under hashtag for you page. They're not going to scroll and look for yeah, your video. Right yeah, now. true. So, if anything, there's like sometimes there's trending hashtags. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess you could use those. Maybe it'll show up on the trending. Uh, I've never used a hashtag. I've no. Never, no, no, no. So, what about when um, people tag you in a post? Um, I think that do helps. you see that or is that like is it like the Instagram one when somebody tags you you can see they have a, a thing for your mentions okay that I that I can go to if I want to look at stuff like that but I just choose not to just okay there's 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 good people that make good videos about me and then there's people that make bad videos so I just don't want to see anything. oh uh, okay hey, what's the what's the biggest negative comment you guys get what I'm do people skinny. say <laughs> you're skinny that's that's I'm a pretty skinny. good comment I mean that's not bad 
I mean, it's better than use, being they, fat. Yeah, yeah but, I get it, but people just body shame a lot. And it's just oh, really? Uh -huh. yeah, a lot. Oh, wow. What I'm, do you get? Nothing. <laughs> No, no, you get no, no hate they, at they, all. They, 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 <laughs> I don't really get negative comments. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, not I'm, that bad. I'm talking to one of the people that all the guys kind of want, I mm -hmm. guess. So I, I just see it from their perspective. Like they're really, I guess, jealous of me. So of they course. have a lot of hatred towards sure. me because they like like Charlie, I guess. Yeah, I got so you. I, I get a lot of uh, hate and criticism from there. Oh, okay. Does Charlie get the same thing or not? Yeah, Charlie. She's very likable. Who could hate on her? Yeah, it's people just, are mean. People, people just, are mean. Like, just want to be she mean. Keep, she's a 15 year old girl, and yeah. like, if she wears a crop top, mm -hmm. people will be like, oh, "Put a shirt back on. You look horrible." Like that'll be the top comments. <laughs> yeah. To a 15 year old she, girl she, that is in like great yeah. shape, she's not wow. like yeah. If she eats food and she gets bloated from her food and she's wearing a crop top, makes a video of there. Like be, like, people will, like, "Wow, you're fat now." And it's, 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 yeah, yeah, it it's, it's, it sucks. People are messed up like people are pricks what's the rating because twitter has a ton of haters right twitter's yeah. the worst is platform. twitter still the worst and uh, a lot of you guys aren't even on twitter i'll, I'll never have a twitter no I, I, I just, you don't have one do you i i do i just i don't tweet too many like i don't dumb things because i just i just tweet i don't, I don't know I would, be, I, I would be happy if that app got deleted from yeah. existence <laughs> is, is tiktok like after that as far as negative stuff no you do like reddit Oh, Reddit. Reddit. How's your Reddits? I didn't even think to look there. I've never looked at it. Do you guys ever. have? Reddit. I've never looked I've at it. I've never. Have you? Oh. So bad. Yes. <laughs> so bad. I've never read it. Off camera, we heard it's very bad. Yeah. Is, do you have your original? Do, do they have original um, Reddits? Their subreddits? Oh, I'm sure. And there's a Hype House one too? I'm sure. Oh, well, we got to check that out. No. Of course, a fan or a hater. Yeah. Yeah. So. I've never looked at Reddit in my life. Yeah. So. You're not missing much. No. So no. I think it goes Twitter, Reddit, and then YouTube, and then TikTok. Okay. Because TikTok no, YouTube's off. really nice to me for some reason. Like, YouTube all is. my comments are it's so nice. Yeah. The Hype House has some mean ones, though. Well, but, of course. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a hater in every situation. But TikTok, I think YouTube people <laughs> overall are nicer. You know, because they're the people yeah. watching you. But it's, there's, a, there's a flip side. If I've interviewed creators that are kind of controversial, and there's a lot of hate watching, which I never could wrap my head around. That they'll watch their videos just yeah, to they hate them. They yeah, hate them. They, they watch my TikTok videos just to hate them. But my YouTube videos, mm -hmm. I think my more my core following will actually like go to YouTube. Because okay. like I see if a YouTuber is a controversial person, mm -hmm. they'll go to their YouTube because that's their main platform. Yeah. yeah. But since TikTok's my main platform, they'll hate on me on my TikTok. Yeah. Oh, so okay. like if he gets if people are all mad at him in a day, they'll go to his TikTok <laughs> and to let him know that they're that He's being body shamed. <laughs> do, you, do you like? Can you block certain words like skinny? I don't. You don't see that. Uh, yeah, yeah, but still, I'll see it every day. You, what do you have blocked? Chase. What's blocked? It chases a cow. Over five hundred words blocked, <laughs> and I still see them. every Five hundred words. Yeah. What, what do you? The and and or like no, everything. So many words, but did they, I think it only stops it to a certain extent. I think yeah. it put, pushes it to the bottom of the comment section. But if people scroll for long enough, they might find it and like it, and then it brings it up. Oh, and then okay. everything on my account that's blocked is about him. <laughs> on my, my, all the words that I don't want people calling me because I make videos with him. Do you have Chase blocked on your account? No, the no, word? no. Oh, Just wow. like so you can negative see that? comments about him. Oh, I'll block. So what's up with that, man? You gotta, you know, you gotta block that. Yeah, no, we I don't do. want negative Chase comments. No. <laughs> it's it's a lot. Yeah, TikTok's. I think TikTok's gotten better because they. They shift out bad language now, mm -hmm. so it's like, oh. so like you can't really comment that mean of things anymore and get it to the top because oh, okay. they push that to the down or like mm -hmm. super low now. Okay. Yeah, you don't you don't even get any attention if you comment. Like some a lot of my comments, they won't even be bad, uh, but they, they, but they, they get pushed they won't, down. They won't get like pushed out. Like they'll just be just in there as zero likes. Oh, okay. Comment, which if I comment something like nice or like an emoji or something like that, it'll it'll get likes, but they just push it to the bottom if it's like. Anything <coughs> sus or weird mm -hmm. in any way. Speaking of emojis, is is this a thing? Like people give you emojis, like they pay for emojis. Is that a thing? I read. No, no, oh, they're okay. talking about live donations. Yeah. Mm. So people, what what is a live donation? So people used to go live and mm -hmm. then get donated money. So it'd be like, oh, the kid pays ten dollars for a little like thing to send you, mm -hmm. because then when you're live and they send it in, you see it. Because if you have 10,000 people on live, you don't see all their comments. Like you try your best to keep up with it. Yeah. But then if they put something in, that's like the li it's like Twitch live streaming. Yeah, yeah, so it's just like, too much. Yeah, so they donate in, but we don't really go live anymore. As like like this house, and mm -hmm. mostly we don't go live anymore. Yeah. Is there any benefit to going live? 
Uh, I mean, before you could make money, I it, I don't know why it won't let me go live. It won't let him go. Oh, no? It's because I'm not 18. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, I think so they stopped it. it for minors, and then they stopped gift giving from minors. So kids can't donate anymore, mm-hmm. and then kids can't take out money anymore. Yeah. And then also uh, TikTok takes 75% now. What? Yeah, so it's just one of those things where it's like- 75%? Yeah, so it's mostly the kids now donating to TikTok directly. <laughs> They don't need more money. No, exactly. And it's also like, if we're going to drop something, we should plan out a good merch line. We yeah. should plan out a good product mm-hmm. and then sell it that way. And that's our way of them supporting us and I'm gi- us giving them something okay. instead of just going live. Okay. It's yeah. like, we would just rather hold off on that. You bring up a good point. You're not 18. I interviewed Emma Chamberlain when she was 17. Uh-huh. And it's different for a girl. She got creepy comments and negative stuff constantly. Mm-hmm. DMs, creepy DMs and stuff, pictures. Um, is that something the girls in the house get too? Because I think yeah. all of them are underage, right? Yeah. Uh, just Avani and uh, Charlie are underage. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone else on our team is over 18. There's okay. always going to be the creepy guys. There's always going to be the haters. There's, yeah. there's always going to be the fans. Honestly, yeah. girls are weird too. What do you mean? As the guy in this, girls are weird too. The DMs Those you girls. get, girls are crazy. <laughs> like, people don't realize it, but yeah, girls are wild. Well, I'm sure you probably get... No offense, Thomas, no, but no, I'm no, sure Chase gets no, I know. a ridiculous number of DMs yeah, I used from girls. To get, like the bold, yeah, bold, capital bold DMs <laughs> every day. Yeah, I, I like, like I'll be you. at your house at this time, and I will do this. <laughs> no, even bolder. <laughs> they, they they've gotten pretty wild, but um, I don't know. I, I like that they changed it to now you see it from like the top following because it's more of like a business inquiry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's from there. And if I want to like read fan messages, I'll go to all all messages. Okay. This, this one says top and then there's all messages. Okay. So I'll, I'll go to the all sometimes if I want to respond to fans. Mm-hmm. Because when I post, I'm just like, hey, if you repost your story, I'm going to be like looking through my DMs and responding to people. So I'll do that and I'll, I'll say hi. Okay. But like there are some very bold people out there. Yeah. You still read your DM? Yeah, I do. They're they're kind of interesting. If I want to get a laugh out of my my day, I just go to my DMs. Yeah. yeah. So you really check your Instagram DMs? Not not much anymore, just because now that the the hater guys have found me. Because before, guys just despise TikTok. But then Charlie came along, mm-hmm. and like girls started to get a lot of more of attention on TikTok. Yeah. So like the guys were just like, okay, maybe I'll start yeah. on that TikTok more. And then with that became the, the super supportive guys. Yeah. And so like I just get a bunch of DMs from people that are play play sports in high school and have like a, their football pictures there. Okay. Yeah. So like uh, their their <laughs> profile pictures just be like, screw you, <laughs> Charlie's mine. <laughs> yeah. Like, really? Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, but most of your demo is girls, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, mine's not that bad. It used to be. Can you see your demo on yeah, TikTok like yeah. you do on Instagram? It's mm-hmm. in your insights. I have a, I think he's at 87% women. Okay. And what's the age range? Uh, 18 a lot to of 24 it's, says. But for 18 me, to 24 but, is I would have guessed younger. It, it, it is. But it's also younger too. Yeah. But it's, it's like, I think it's like 30, 30, and then just like wherever else. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. What else are you guys promoting? I think you said it all. I learned about We're, TikTok. I'm, I'm going to film a TikTok with you guys and blow up. I'm going to be the next TikTok star. I'm excited about perfect. that. Yes. What, uh, what else are you guys promoting? Either we'll put up all your social media handles and stuff. We're, we're really going to dive into like Hype House YouTube. And okay. Yeah. We're going to yeah. have merchandise with the Hype House too. We're, we're, just we're working on a bunch of big things that aren't official yet, so I don't want to just announce it to no, the No, sure. Yeah, until okay. But there's, there's tons of things in the work that we want everyone to see. Um, We've got merch coming. We're gonna have big deals with big companies. There's gonna be big name artists coming over. There's gonna be lots of stuff. Potentially a reality show. Who the hell knows? Well, you know what's wild? Well, I'm not done talking, I guess. You know what's wild is, well, they just, Dolce and Gabbana, right? Yeah. Flew you there, paid you, because you're the cool kids that everybody wants to hang out with now. Like, they did that with Emma Chamberlain, right? They brought her over and she did like the fashion thing too because yeah. they know. Yeah. A lot of companies don't want, don't want to do like those kind of things to me because they start to see that a lot of people like are really looking into the fashion that I wear. So they're just like, okay, what if I dressed this kid and flew him out for Paris Fashion Week? I was gonna go to Paris Fashion Week with uh, a company, but uh, there's like a bunch of strikes that were in Paris. But I was, I did stuff with Italy and I was gonna go to Paris, but okay. now it's delayed till summer, I think. Okay. But like a lot of companies are starting to notice and pick up on like people actually like to see what some of these TikTokers are wearing. 
what's wild? I, this is, I won't see you guys again ever because you'll be too big, you know, <laughs> in a year from now. But I could see like Will Smith coming to film here or traditional celebs. What's, Have you got those offers? Yeah, what's funny is that yeah. we've, I've turned down a lot of offers because it's like, Inlet. Are they cloud chasing? Yeah, well they are. Yeah, they're like they're, they're trying to stay on the trends. Like that what makes sense when but it's one of those things where I've turned down a lot of very like legitimate and popular rappers and stuff because mm -hmm. they want to come for free and film and promote their music and sell records that we don't get a part of, that we don't get paid for. Oh. So why would we do that? Sure. There's a lot of TikTok kids that don't think that smart and they'll collab with anyone and they'll blow up anybody. Yeah. But at the end of the day like I think about it from the business end. Like, mm -hmm. We need to work our way up. We don't need to be taking in sound promos to promote a song. We should be a part of building up artists mm -hmm. and act like, why can't we be at where these people are? Like, don't keep settling for the bottom. Let's be the people paying out other TikTokers mm -hmm. to promote our artists that yeah. we're then blowing up and giving a career. Like, I, I want to work my way up in that. You seem, you've got a, a great business mind, obviously. Where do you see the crew in five years? Yeah, well, yeah. I, I, well I mean, I'm sure you'll be there this yeah, year. That's, I, that's I not see, a big deal. I see all of us probably gone and doing our own things and new members. Uh, like, I see the Hype House living on past what we are. Okay. I see it funneling us in and out mm -hmm. and like blowing you up, giving you an option for a career, just yeah. like a, an agent or a manager and like a label would, mm -hmm. and then pushing you out. Like, we're not going to be sitting in this hype house five years from now. Like Chase is going to be doing his own thing. I'm going to be doing my own thing. Alex is going to be doing his own thing. Like yeah. everyone's right. going to have their own careers, but yeah. we all. We're also going to stick together, but it's yeah. just going to grow. Yeah, it's going to yeah. grow. And, wow. and then hopefully. It's like a band have... that everybody has their own yeah. solo deals. And exactly. They have the exactly. exactly. And then what happens when, if the next social media comes in, but we still have the name, the hype house, and it's still a business, mm -hmm. but we have the next generation of kids in here. Because mm -hmm. in five years, we're not going to be what's popping. It will be another big TikToker that's going to come along. If TikTok then why not be at the hype house? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. exactly. We're just going to, we'll, we'll always um, keep our eye out for, for what's yeah. uh, going on. And I have talent. a I have a really good eye for new talent and like scouting people mm -hmm. and uh, seeing what's what's new and what would what people would like mm -hmm. and like I have seen people and brought them on and given them opportunity and they have done amazing things in life I don't want to name drop but sure. there's a lot of people that have gotten a lot of opportunities that I've given mm -hmm. them that I've like scouted from going starting at 100,000 followers and today are at 5 10 million. Wow. That's going to make you feel good. Yeah, at least feel look good. Right, because that they made five million. You're making money, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you've got a career. Yeah. At that point. Yeah. Wow. Well, guys, you said it all, <laughs> and I think I'm done. I have no more. Oh, one tip before we go. Your people watching this, your young fans, all want to blow up on TikTok. All want to have millions of fan, you know, oh, yeah. followers. What advice do you have them for them to get um, big on TikTok? If you really want it, chase it, but. Uh, if it's not what you want, don't go for it. Really be consistent with uh, the posting and um, give it your all and be yourself because that's really what I did. And, and I took it a, a, I took it the extra mile because I, I went and I, yeah. I acted myself. Yeah. And also, people realize that. No matter how weird your content is or no matter how dumb you think it is. If someone's going to like it. Someone's going to like it. If you think it's funny, if you think it's good, mm -hmm. just post it. If you think if this is going to make someone laugh and it makes you laugh, mm -hmm. just post it. Sure, someone might think it's the dumbest video they've ever seen. <laughs> Four million people might think it's the funniest thing on the map. Yep. It's like, mm -hmm. we know this girl, Jay, and she has a very weird sense of humor. She has like 4 million followers, but it's a very odd, like she's very funny and very mm -hmm. odd, and it does really well. Yeah. So it's like, you just make whatever you want and post every day. Okay. Uh, yeah, like don't take a break, just post every day. Is there a good time to post, like Instagram? Like, uh, is there certain noon, hours or does it matter? Noon for like Americans. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have a lot of American following. Noon is a good time because there's the people that are going to be on their phones at noon and then there's going to be people that just get out of school in Florida okay. at 3 p.m. Oh, that's smart. Okay. So that's, that's, one of, okay. that's the best time that I see on my insights. Noon. It really okay. shows what has the most likes at what hour. And, yeah. Oh, okay. And 12's a really good time. I post like sometimes like 12, 1, Two, 3, three yeah. ish. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Well, thanks for sitting down. Yeah, You're going to be so too wrong. big to ever sit down with me again, no, so it was nice no, to meet no, you. No. It's like, been a pleasure. Like talking. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Thanks, guys. Of course. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Yeah.